Good morning, farm friends. It's Alan here on the farm on Route 66. And I look rougher than I normally do. I, I get that. This hat was my father-in-law's and it's been through a lot. But today we're going on a Pioneer Trek. It's a Pioneer reenactment. We feel it's important for the youth to understand where they can come from and understand the sacrifices that have been made to get us to where we're at. And so we do this pioneer reenactment. We call it a pioneer trek and the kids will pull hand carts the first day, probably 10 to 13 miles. And they'll camp out for three nights. Let's see one. Yeah, three nights, roughing it. And anyway, it's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna video the whole thing because we're making a video for the use of our church. But since the farm is going on trek, I thought I'd at least take you along. I'm taking Lex and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride. And some people may say, well, that's pretty wimpy. But I, honestly, I'm kind of nervous to be on a horse is 13 miles today. It's gonna wear, wear this old body out. But as I was reading about one of my ancestors, when one of his kids was six days old, he and his wife left Utah. They came down to settle and work with the Hopi people down in Arizona. And so it was fascinating as I was reading about that. So with a baby six days old, they left and traveled about 250 miles. So it made me think, you know what, Palmer? I, I ought to be able to at least do 10 to 13 miles. So I hope Lex is up for it. She has the harder job carrying me. But anyway, come along and let's go to Pioneer Track. Well, first of all, I'm gonna wash Lex off. She found mud somewhere. The water's cold, so probably doesn't feel as good as it would later today. But I wanna get, she had a bunch of, uh, <laughs> she had a bunch of mud on her. I don't even know where she found mud because we haven't irrigated lately, but anyway, the last thing I want is for there to be mud underneath saddle blankets and saddle pads that's like having sand in your shoes that just not a good idea if you're going hiking so anyway I'm gonna make sure she's nice and clean and then we will uh, get her loaded up hey. look at this cute little pioneer put your bonnet on okay <laughs> Vic my, I can't find my bonnet Vicki is Here. in charge of all the food there you go <laughs> They'll eat just fine now. You look cute. Thanks. So I've got Chip or Lex about ready. So I sprayed her off, but now I'm gonna brush her a little bit just to make sure all the mud is is gone. And then I'll rinse her off one more time. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure there's not any dried mud on there that that needs to come off. This is probably the sixth trek I've been on, sixth or seventh, and they're a lot of work. I always get a little nervous, but there's always great lessons to be learned. I think the youth nowadays need to realize that they can do hard things. You know, a lot of them are on their phones all day long, and they gotta realize that they can push through and do hard things. But I've got to tell myself I can do hard things because I'm getting... I can do hard things. We can do hard things, right? Look at this cute little pioneer. <laughs> she's like, Dad, don't video me. <laughs> I think she looks adorable. Hey, I don't think pioneers had folding tables like that, though. What the heck? Yeah. Come along and uh, we'll show you some of it. But about 220 kids, about 50 adults. It's a huge undertaking. So pray for us. <laughs> By the time you watch this, will be done, but I'm praying that, that things go well today. Later, Mom. Look at this little pioneer, he's looking good. 
Pioneers didn't have keys. Don't worry about it. Just kidding. Okay. Where you at, Blake? Oh, there you are. I'm not good at this selfie stuff. Casey? Well, we are ready to go. The first trek I ever went on, I was Blake's age. Now I'm almost 51 years old. I'm a little nervous, but these two are gonna do awesome and I pray that I can survive. But let's go. Oh, I'm excited. Me too. Well, we're gathering around. There'll be 220 kids and a bunch of leaders. It's gonna be so fun. Well, Lex is taking a drink. She's calming down a little bit, but she's still pretty afraid of these hand carts. Those metal wheels on the rocks. But, but Lex is doing good. Good job, girl. I took her bridle off so she could drink a little better. Who knew that this is how manna from heaven would be? They're throwing Twinkies from heaven. <laughs> Isn't that cool? We've gone about six miles and these kids are getting tired. I'm not getting tired at all. Just kidding. Lex is calming down and doing better. And the sun's getting low. So it's gonna finally start cooling off. We got about four more miles to go. But things are going good. And Lex. You guys look better with the sunset behind you. I know. <laughs> hey, Cash, smile. This looks so cool with the sunset behind oh, that. Yeah, yeah. 
Here we go. Here's the medical wagon. Looking good. A few blisters, but nothing too serious. Okay, it's night and we got about another mile and a half. Let's go. Hey farm friends, I look pretty rough. Been on this Pioneer track, got in late from that and then I had irrigation through the night. Last time I looked at my alarm clock, it was 3.36 in the morning. And at that time, Chipper had not had a baby, but guess what? She has now, let's go check it out. The little stud colt. Wow, we're four for four on colts this year. But man, what a good looking baby. Duff and Adam. Ready up. Chipper, you doing all right, girl? You're amazing. Couldn't be happier. Well, if I would've got a filly, <laughs> it would've been nice, but he's healthy, he's beautiful, and Chipper's doing great. So life's good, and let's go back out to the trail. Crazy the amount of work that goes into doing something Kylie, whose ranch this is, I brought this big water tank behind a semi. It's pretty awesome. Amazing how good it went. So this is day two and they've arrived at the canyon where they'll camp for the next two days. And there'll be a bunch of fun activities today. Hey, I want to video this. You guys know what you're doing? The, before you... They want to do a Pioneer oh, 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 roller coaster. Yes, yeah, I can. Okay, ready? Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Washing your feet's never felt so good ever, huh? It's cold, which is nice. Trenton, you clean up really nice, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at how sharp you're looking. What are you guys doing? Hey, you got better rhythm than that. Come on, Demarcus. I missed you. <laughs> oh, we already broke one? Oh, man. Oh, the fried bread station. Sister King. <laughs> Hey Blake, you're doing pretty good. That's better than you've done at home. I know. <laughs> I only tried. Oh, hey, you Navajos know how to do this. That's no fair. <laughs> Are you gonna teach them all how to do it? No. My boy Ray. <laughs> Ray's got it down. I like it. <laughs> I didn't know they had snow cones on the trail. That is so cool. Had these on the trail. Blue raspberry right here. You want blue raspberry? It's amazing the amount of work that's gone into this, but the kids seem to be having a ton of fun. So let me go show you some more stuff. All right, here's some uh, knife throwing and hatchet throwing. Have fun. Are you doing your vlog? Yeah, probably. Let me see your little rug thing. That is really awesome. What time are we So impressive. Um, pioneer stories you want to share about your heritage? We're going to have Casey do this before dinner every night now. <laughs> Yeah, your flash might not work there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you guys thought pioneering stuff was hard. What yeah. the heck? It was. <laughs> 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 I want to 
cookie that's crumbled? It's called crumble cookie. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Anyway, we've had a fun day. Every year, every four years we do this. My beard's whiter. It is. That look cute, though. You're handsome, but don't touch me because it itches. It itches, I know. Barely pitting. Like that. All right. Well, it's been a fun day. Hope you've enjoyed coming along. We have another day and a half of this. <laughs> Night and day, doing things the righteous way, doing things the righteous way. Comes great, the snow comes great, the snow comes great, so very, very great. So is the stew. The best thing about Trek is when President Palmer almost got thrown off of his pony. Hey! But the trek's <laughs> over. So President Palmer, <laughs> you best watch your behind. <laughs> One of these days that pony will be mine. <laughs> Beautiful morning. 22 different wagons up here, or what families. You can see that family camp down there in the canyon. We had so much fun last night. The people lift their voice before the King of Kings rejoice. He alone is worthy. Give him all the glory. Bring every troubled heart before the one we praise and we adore. Lay it all before him. Every heavy burden. Oh, oh, oh. Lover of my soul. You have How is it to eat real food again? <laughs> Dusty. That's looking good, man. <laughs> Those hardy boys know how to cook. Hey, do you have any cute brothers in your family? Oh. <laughs> no. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. YouTube star right here. So we're finally done. I'll be back in a minute. These guys are gonna go get some biscuits and gravy and are these your gloves, anybody? No. I'll take them if nobody claims them. You're the fifth person to say that. Well, we've done it. We've had our Pioneer track. These kids have been troopers. And now they're gonna go get some biscuits and gravy and we'll unload all these carts. But I think it's been awesome. They've learned that they can do hard things. They've learned a little bit about the Pioneers and their ancestors. And uh, I think they're better and have, they're better for coming on this trek. They, they know that when times get tough, they can, they can push forward and they also have increased faith knowing that uh that with god all things are possible so hope you've enjoyed and i'm gonna go shave after i get all this stuff done so anyway thanks for coming along These boys are amazing. We had to have porta potties down at the bottom of the canyon, so we carried them down there. But now carrying them out full, 
is a different story. These guys are amazing. 